the scale of Indonesia's mining boom only becomes apparent from the air. Indonesia is now the world's second largest coal exporter and the third biggest emitter of greenhouse gases. More than 130,000 hectares of forest has been felled in two years between 2009 and 11 to make way for new mines. The deforestation has caused controversy, but water is also a big issue here. The mines sit upstream from almost half of South Kalimantan's rivers, accompanied by pits of stagnant fluid. The pits can contain highly acidic water which, if untreated, can pose risks to human life. Our investigation took 29 samples from pits and streams across the region. In 22 of them, the water showed illegal levels of acidity. Kami sedang berada di area konsesi PT Arutmin di Kabupaten Tanah Laut, Provinsi Kalimantan Selatan. Uh, dari uji pH yang kami lakukan, uh, pH-nya sangat rendah, artinya uh, tingkat keasamannya sangat tinggi, berkisar antara 2,8 sampai 3. Tentu saja pH yang sangat rendah ini berbahaya bagi lingkungan dan masyarakat sekitar. There is little research into the impact of coal mining on fragile forest ecosystems, and there appears to be little enforcement of Indonesian standards in the sites we visited. Several government reports did link coal mining to deteriorating water quality, but at the sites we saw, Indonesian water standards appeared not to be enforced. Kalau bagi kami ini ada tambang ini enggak ada gunanya. Yang kami rasakan justru dampaknya. Itu aja. Soalnya enggak ada apa. Contohnya apa? air minum aja kami beli dulunya enggak. Artinya kalau beli aku aja berarti dalam artian kita sudah sudah dampak ternyata minum pun artinya beli. Tapi yang terasa banget Pak kami banyak di sini. Coal mining has come to Indonesia in a hurry, but its impacts on the environment and on people's health are still largely unseen and unreported.